So welcome everyone to our first edition of Yggdrasil Norse Art and Mythology. And uh, my name is Cormac Walsh. I'm, I'm here sitting beside Gunhildur Haugstotter. She is the author of the book, the pamphlet that accompanies the uh, Yggdrasil Norse divination cards. That's the deck there, that's the box. That's the book. Um, we also have Hauker Halderson. That's me. The illustrator of the deck. There you are. And we also have Christian Mar Hauksen as well, who is very interested in the cards, very interested in Norse mythology, uh, history, obviously the sags and the art as well. And you might see he's got some collection of images there behind him from Hauker Halderson as well, I believe, if I'm not incorrect. Okay, so I think we should just kick off straight away, not waste any time, just dive straight in. And maybe I'll just talk a little bit about um, how the, the deck came about, um, the cards, and just this little genesis, if I may use that word, behind the Yggdrasil divination de deck. And maybe I'll start here with Gunhildur. Um, Gunhildur, can you tell us about how this idea came about? Well, Father has been working on this his whole life, so it's maybe better if, if Papa tells about how it came about. But how it came about for me was that uh, Hoeker contacted me to to write the book and create a framework around the drawings because Levelin Worldwide, our publisher, had been in contact with him wanting to create this project. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, in the beginning, I was, uh, I had a, a, a notion of making drawings of, of the gods and goddesses and other uh, divine persons in the in the mythology, the Nordic mythology. So I began to draw them up, and and uh, after three or four years, I had about uh, eighty uh, different uh, uh, drawings. So I, I said to myself, "Hey, uh, I have to do something about it." So I contacted my daughter. <laughs> and and uh, she was living in Berlin then, and, and she is still li living there. Uh, so I asked her if, if we could go and uh, try to explain uh, different gods, the meanings of the gods, how they were rela related to each other, and, and so forth and so on. And she began uh, to, to, to write it down, and they, I was, was sending it to me, so so I could understand in which way she was doing the thing. And I saw instantly that that was what we needed. So I said, go on, we, we will go on and, and then we can uh, contact uh, Leveline, uh, the, the publisher, and, and tell them that uh, she would be from that day the author of this thing. So today, it is now uh, finished and, and uh, we are, well, we are very pleased with, with the result. So uh, I think that uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know, but uh, uh, some people are always, uh, you know, uh, telling about these cards that they are asking, is that a tarot? No, it is not a tarot, but in a way, well, maybe Gunnildur can explain it better than me. Yeah, Gunnildur, what's yeah, the difference a, between this divination deck, as it's called, and yeah. the tarot deck? Yeah, well, the tarot deck and the Yggdrasil deck are both divination decks. Ah. They are both decks that uh, you can use to divinate the future or divinate your <clears throat> current situation. You can ask these cards <clears throat> and there are many such cards <clears throat> and but you can we we came up with a system for the Yggdrasil deck which is based on the the tree of life the mm -hmm. Yggdrasil tree and that's a it's a different system of divination than than the tarot cards but they they have it in common that they are divination cards yeah so there, Christian is holding up the tree of life yeah, upside yeah. down. Christian is upside oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> the worlds sit in the tree like this. You can see them. And you lay the cards 
in this order. So that's the grand spread of interest. But you can, of course, use the deck and lay the cards however you are used to. The user is maybe used to tarot, so they can. It's the, these cards are very versatile. You can lay them in it, different manners, and you can also use them as oracle decks. It, it, when you were conceiving the idea, when, when it came close to actually whatever, going to Llewellyn, the publishers. Did you, did you have that in mind, the difference between a tarot deck and a divination deck? Was that something that was consciously there or did it come about as you were illustrating the cards, thinking of the book, thinking of the grand spread? How did that, well, how did that come about? I use tarot cards a lot. So I know tarot cards and the system of the tarot cards is, has a higher and a lower arena. But the, the, the Yggdrasil deck is... Is, there are 81 cards to begin with. It's right. a different number than the tarot cards. And there are nine gods in each world. There are nine worlds in the tree, sitting on the branches of the tree of Yggdrasil. And there are nine deities or places or for each world. <clears throat> you see, so nine times nine. And there's always this little symbol here. So this is the symbol for Muspel's Heimur, the world of Muspel, the fiery giants. So that card belongs in that world and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's a system on its own that we have invented. This system did not exist before we made this deck. Right, okay. Um, I, I know we're, we're in future videos, we intend going more in depth into the grand spread and how it works. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll talk about in the future about the difference between divination deck, this divination deck and other tarot card systems. Um, I'm wondering, Christian there, have you, um, you, you've been using this deck, you've been looking at it, I'm guessing, um, you've had it for a while there. Um, wh what's your impression of the deck itself? We just get somebody there who's been using it. Well, uh, yeah, let's put it this way. I've been, I've been marveling at the art itself. So, um, Using it, I'm still learning. Um, yeah. But I've been uh, watching Gunnilter, for example, set. Uh, I saw a really nice video where she was setting the deck for Angela Merkel. And maybe in the future, we should see if we can put, do something for uh, the coronavirus or, 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 or anything else uh, that yeah. we can think about. But, but I, 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 am, I, I have been... Uh, uh, um, uh, a, a bit, I've grown up with this basically, so grown up with the art, uh, grown up with the, uh, the 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 world of, of yeah, yeah exactly. So so it, and and it's actually quite interesting to see this unfold. And we're talking about when I say grow up, we're talking about past 50, 55 years, or 50 yeah. years of of being exposed to uh, Viking culture, Viking uh, mythology. Uh, so it's it's interesting to see this all tied together. But but. I am a novice user of the cars, but I'm, I'm a big yeah. fan of the art itself because I keep looking at the cars and finding something in the pictures themselves, which I didn't notice when I looked at them first. So I think they keep amazing me. Yeah, there's yeah. a beautiful symbolism in the, in the images themselves. And they speak for themselves as well, which Pape has done yeah. really, really well. Chris, yeah. you, you say you've been going over for decades, but how, can there, how, how long have you been working on these 81 cards? If you could just give viewers an idea of how long this has taken to, for you. Uh, wow. Uh, all the way from the beginning, when I was, uh, when I was designing uh, the restaurant in Hafnafjörður, the Viking restaurant, uh, my friend Johannes, he wanted to have some, uh, some well, something new. So I said to him, okay, let's make a, a, a Viking restaurant and I will make some drawings to put into the restaurant to show people what we are trying to do. But today this, this restaurant is very, very popular and, and uh, that's another story. But there I began to think about uh, uh, these pictures. How, how, how am I going to do it? How, how can I do it? And then I began, it's always the same thing with, with art. You have to begin and then you can find out which way you are going. And uh, the end res result is what, what is now in the hand of uh, my daughter, Gunnildur, which are the diversion of cart, which, which uh, luckily uh, we think that uh, that will bring us something to, to well, 
we can buy toilet paper for it anyway. <laughs> In, this, <laughs> in, in these, these times, in this time. <laughs> that would and be useful. So I was beginning there, 2000, uh, the year 2003, four or five. To, to, to specifically draw these images you were yeah. talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and of course, I, 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 in, many, in many cases, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was stranded because I needed some idea. And then I was looking up other pictures from other artists and I said to myself, wow, this one fits nicely into this and that and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I, I draw them up, yeah. and I change them maybe a little bit or, 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 or whatever I did. But I found it uh, uh, nearly impossible for me to find a, 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 a nice, uh, you know, uh, Firmit, what the hell is that? Uh, so to inspiration? Could yeah, say. inspiration. A good inspiration for this and that. And uh, so I, I used uh, work from other artists and, and I changed it a little bit, but that functions. Right. Yeah. Uh, then, can I just add something to this? Because I think it's the wonderful thing about this Dark, I think, and also the wonderful thing about the collaboration with Father is that in the very beginning that we, when we were talking about this, we were talking about like, what is the narrative that we want to convey about the Nordic pantheon and yeah. about the whole Nordic <clears throat> mythologies? Yeah. And we were both very... <clears throat> I mean, Daddy has been thinking for always about how how all religions and all religion systems are mixed and how they all are interrelated. Mm -hmm. And for me, the Nordic mysticism is very interesting for particularly for two reasons is that it's inherently creative. It's very open for interpretations and it's very, it's inherently creative. So if you want to dive into the mysticism, you need your own creativity. So our, our standpoint was always that we're going to try to waken the user's creativity as well. And then that's, that's one point. And then the other point is that, <clears throat> that how all the, all the other religions, how all religions basically are related, how they all are all interrelated. So the images reflect that very well. And that's, I think, is what Father was trying to convey. They take from all styles, they take from other religious styles, they take, because they're, yeah, so, <clears throat> so they are, right. they, they convey that in the artwork, how, yeah. how all, um, Pagan systems, religious, I mean, but that has been to, we were, we were visiting like Navajo Indians in, yeah. in North America and there is Napa there, the, the god that is very related to Loki. I mean, this is another paganism on, on the other side of the world that was existing, you know, before the Nordic mythology, Napa and Loki are like brothers, they are, you know, Mm -hmm. So we, we, it's just very, we love to see these connections and we want to also keep all these connections open. Yeah. Yeah. So as, as viewers can hear and tell, there's an awful yeah. lot in this divination deck in terms of the figures, the characters, the, the book, um, the mythology and, and history and the sagas. Um, which we'll be going into, I think, in future videos. We've got ideas about what we want to talk about in videos ahead, about various figures there. But yeah. of course, uh, we also want to hear from people who are watching this now, if you have any specific question about the deck or the figures in there, or you want to know anything about Norse mythology itself, then we have, you know, we've got some experts here um, who are, yeah, there to answer your questions. And I think we'll just leave it there for the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there is only one thing I want to uh, say here. <coughs> you can buy the book in Amazon. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it. <laughs> Good pitch. <laughs> Uh, just, okay. just, just quickly before you guys leave, uh, and, and talking about Gunnar and, and the openness to creativity and and that the paganism is actually so much. Yeah, uh, the, the the way that you can use your own creativity to work with what you what is there, uh, yeah. and I've just just uh, again I've been like I have this set here which uh, which is absolutely brilliant, and just looking at the the 
creativity behind it and the quality that leveling and the guys have put into it is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. We'll talk about that later in later videos, probably you guys, the book and, and, and the quality of the prints are absolutely brilliant. I mean, I, yeah, you did a very I, good I, I've been going through them with micro classes because I'm finding stuff in there which is absolutely brilliant in the pictures. Yeah. It was amazing me just as, as an enthusiast of, 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 of this as an art, not necessarily as the cars themselves. Mm -hmm. So I think like, I think this is, I think if we stop here and we will we'll be happy to take questions from viewers, but then we would also like to, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> That's gonna point. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to point. Yes, that we, in the future on this channel, we would like to go through, uh, we are going to go through how to spread, the, how the cards spread how to use the book is one point that I would like to, yeah. <clears throat> to uh, illustrate in the, on this channel. And so there, there's a lot of content coming that we can to yeah. come. So, okay. so that our viewers are yeah. going to, and I'm very excited to see questions coming. Beautiful. Okay. That's it. There's a lot in there. There's a lot to come. I think is the, is the upshot of that. So we it's leave only, it there. It's only bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>